Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, the director of the school, and today is September 4th, and this is Sahifa. You will find every week I will do a podcast where I'll highlight different things that are going on in classrooms as well as community activities at the school. So here we are, um, the first official podcast of the new school year. And if you, as you know, as you walk onto our campus, you can see we are in the midst of construction. We had intense work over the summer where we were able to add new classrooms in the middle school and high school. We were also, we also have our track that's being resurfaced, enhancements to our, our dining hall, and soon to be finished will be elementary courtyards as well as additional new classrooms. The high school science labs will be finished. We'll be expanding out um, into the middle school for additional classrooms, elementary library, um, enhancements, including adding more space, and two new gyms, a learner pool, and a greenhouse. So this is the year, really, of a great deal of transition. Um, and of course, your child's safety is number one. So you walk onto campus, you see the changes um, that are coming about in a very physical way. We'll also know that this year, as we will hear from Scott Barnwell, we have the largest enrollment in ASD's history, 2,129 students. And these changes will bring about, um, for next year, an additional capacity for 150 more students. We had 32 new teachers who we oriented in mid-August who are now in our classrooms with your, your children. And as you know, we have changes in regards to food service as well as we are about to launch the swipe card system. So what is it as we look at the school and we think about the fact that we are four divisions, lower elementary, upper elementary, middle school, and high school, what is it that holds us together? Because although we are four divisions, we are one school. And it's, um, it's apt then that I sit in front of the school's mission and vision and identity that really characterize who we are as a school and are that core that's so important in terms of holding us together. As you know, the school was started 25 years ago by the American Embassy. The ambassador, Ambassador Gagassian at the time, who was with us last year for our 25th, reached out to several prominent Qatari business people and said, I would like to start a school with an American curriculum that is enriched by multiple diverse nationalities. And indeed, last year we had 75 different nationalities on our campus. And with that then, is an emphasis on, as you can see in our mission, on intellectual as well as personal development. And that drives so much of what we do, so that we are just as concerned with your child's intellectual development as personal development. And that gives rise to many of our after-school activities, many of the sports and incredible arts programs that we are able to provide, as well as counseling. And of course, that phrase from our mission that is so important, positive, active, global citizens, uh, the ability for our students to be able to know that they can make a difference in the world and reach out and do something to make this world a better place. That mission, our vision, coupled with our four very strong values, hold us together. And we are glad that you are part of the ASD community because without you, without your partnership with us, we do not indeed have the ability for our mission to be achieved. So welcome ASD community to the new 2014-15 school year and I look forward to seeing you every week. I'm here with Scott Barnwell, Director of Admissions for the school and Scott we have had an intense year at admissions. Give us the status, how many new students, total students and so forth. Well this year Deb we've had over 3,000 applications. Um, we've uh, enrolled over 370 new students this year uh, and right now we're holding strong at 2,129 students total. And that's the the largest enrollment in the school's history isn't it? Yes. Um, once again uh, we keep going up every year at ASD uh, and hopefully next year we'll be able to enroll um, another 100 or 200 more students. Okay, thanks. 
One of the aspects of the campus improvement project is the um, elementary will be the elementary courtyards, the complete transformation. And I am here with Ms. Lana, lower elementary principal, who's going to talk about how this particular place will be transformed. Well, this is one of two lower elementary courtyards, but this is the one that will, I think, go through the most change. This will become um, an indoor, air-conditioned play area, and so we can use this during um, the very hot months where we don't like children to be outside. We're going to have um, rubber flooring. We're going to have play equipment in here, picnic tables. It's going to be a lovely play area and also a learning space, a place where classrooms, teachers can bring their students out to use as an extension to classroom space. So we're very excited to have this. We will have another courtyard that will not be air-conditioned or covered, but will also be um, a play area area and an extension to classroom learning. So we are very fortunate that this will be happening hopefully by the end of October. And so we thank of course everyone who's donated very generously and I think Dr. Deb will tell you about that. Um, these courtyards are part of the campus improvement project. Um, this particular courtyard is being donated by the PTA. So all of the fundraising that they do throughout the year um, for all of their many events um, are those proceeds are going towards the transformation of this courtyard and for that we are extremely thankful. Really from um, space that is totally not utilized is, is dirt into a place of learning and play. Fabulous. Thank you. We know the single most important ingredient to have in a school is the teacher in front of your children. So we devote a lot of resources to getting the right teachers. One of those new teachers, one of 32 that we brought in this year, is Jamie Clayton. And it's also important that our new teachers come onto very strong collaborative teams. Ali Farmer in grade five is one such member. So when we think about the new year, Jamie and Ali, what are some of the impressions that you have of the 2014-15 school year? Well, I think one of the first things that came to mind right when we got here is how welcoming everything and everyone has been. Um, we had an amazing orientation and that allowed us to get to know um, the school and then outside the school we had all kinds of functions where we were able to get to know Doha and get to know the community um, and, our, and our colleagues. Um, when school started and we were able to get to know the parents, again, I had parents and kids coming in and greeting me at open house. And it's just been, I, I've had nothing but positive um, feedback. Um, and now that school has started and we're on the second week, um, I adore my kids and I just feel so grateful that we have such a great community here at ASD. Right. Uh, I just want to second what Jamie was saying, how positive the beginning of the school year has been this year. Um, I feel like it's been the most exciting I've had in the seven years I've been at ASD. We have three amazing new team members. Um, giving our team a lot of new life and great ideas. And the kids seem so much happier, and we ease them in. And um, it's been a wonderful start to the year this year. And hopefully it will continue in the same vein. Well, and as you know, we are thankful and appreciative that you are at ASD. Okay. 